hello I'm Thomas and this is what I'm going to be teaching you so you can see it is a trail um, some kind of kind of wind cutting effect and a projectile so let's get started so we have this projectile it's a rock. When I hit play, you can see it moves to the left. But we want the player to see it moving from far away, so we want to add some particles. So we come to the projectile object, game object, and we add the particle system. Then we want to rotate it so the particles move from the right to from the left to the right. Now we want it to go in a symmetric way. So let's put the rate over time down to zero. Let's add a burst. Let's add a max of 40, minimum of 40 as well, and an infinite cycle. Let's hit this up a little bit. So we feel this right. Alright, this is okay. Now I want to change the the material. I have some material pre-made for the tutorial. Alright. This one will do. Alright, wait now. Alright. We want the particles to be of size zero because the movement will be made by the trails so let's add some trails and let's add a texture or oh, material this is a good one or maybe this one Let's add some textures. Oh, what is going on? Oh, let me check. Oh, wait, oh. I was supposed to change the trail material. Put up this one. Nothing's happening. Why? Oh, all right. Um, I had this option checked. You have to uncheck that option because it will take the size of the particle, and we set the particle to zero up here. So now we have this, which doesn't look good. But we're gonna fix it. Alright, let's add particles. Set a shader. Look soft. And then let's change the the trail color to a gradient. Let's set the alpha all the way to zero. Add some more alpha through. And let's put the color over lifetime as well. Yeah, that will do. You can see it now has this wind cutting. Um, look, it starts looking like what we want. Yeah, we want to give him some speed. Let's 
let's add some speed and let's shorten the lifetime. Here. Maybe this uh, this and let's give them a sure lifetime. bigger width So let, let's hit play and see how it looks. Alright. Now let's give him some velocity over lifetime in the C axis. Also wanted to do a burst spread. Yeah, that way is more consist consistent. Wanted to emit from the base shell. That's it. Now we can play with the width. So now we have this. Let's put a background so we can see it better. That's okay. Oh, so the camera is in that position. 
that explains a lot. All right. Let's see how it looks. So you can see it looks a lot better now. And you can play with the settings to have something that you like. So we can we can make it better even better if we add a trail to the to the model of the rock. Come here and go to effects, trail render. And now we can add a trail. As you can see. So let's add an element, something white. It's a good one. <coughs> Sorry. And we'll want to change the lifetime if I can find it. Where is the lifetime? All right, time. Here it is. So now we have this. <coughs> and we want to make it um, so the trail gets smaller as the object moves. So we we'll want to move this. Okay, what's going on? Why don't you want to move? All right. Turns out I didn't have a key. So you can play around with this, Let's see how it looks. As you can see, you have the trail now. Looks way better. And let's add some alpha channel. wider that's it looks way better now and I think the particles I want it to be more wide they don't look um, nice the way they are now. Let me see what it can do. So, whiteness. Alright, it looks this looks better. So let me change the lifetime. What if we add more particles?
Hi. This looks way better. lifetime and the radius the cone and let's check how it looks alright as you can see we have this is the result, this is what we, ha we have a rock flying around with a trail you can even change um, the cone shape to a circle it will look uh, wider and the way to control this is to use the velocity or over lifetime you can make it faster and we'll get a small radius as you can see you can also um, change the simulated space to word it will, good, uh, it will have this weird look like it was bursting. I don't know how to how to describe this. You can you can see it. This one looks nice as well. But I like it more in the local space. So that's all. I hope you like it.